Ten years after the fictional Bartlett administration left the White House, the cast of the Emmy Award-winning show The West Wing and its creator, Aaron Sorkin, reunited last week at the ATX Television Festival in Austin, where they sat down for an exclusive interview with NBC's Hallie Jackson. That sounds like fun, Hallie. How yeah. lucky am That's I? Cool. Yeah. It's like a different kind of politics beat, you could say. The cast sitting down together. It was the first time they said in more than a decade they had all kind of come together for this. And it was obvious that they still love each other and love to tease each other, too, during the reunion, taking a trip down memory lane and sounding off about this year's presidential campaign. When was the last time that you all saw each other in person with this many? Last night. <laughs> <laughs> when the show first came on, there was not an appetite for political television. It was very in the air that political shows don't work. And it turns out that bad political shows <laughs> don't work. But now you have Scandal, you've got House of Cards, you've got Veep. It's an incredibly rich environment that's full of theatricality and conflict. For me, a home run would have been positive uh, critical reaction and just enough people watching so that we could stay on the air for a little bit. A show about the inner workings of the White House didn't seem like it'd be a primetime hit, but The West Wing was a critical darling, earning 26 Emmy Awards, including nine wins in a single year. And loyal fans not scared away by the show's deep dives. Who's going to want the farm subsidy? Recess appointments. Census Bureau. Congressional consultation. Political nuance, Richard Schiff recalls, even prompted a surprising reaction from a future presidential candidate. This one episode with Toby solved Social Security. There will only be two people working for every retiree, down from 42 workers per retiree when the system started. I still don't understand a word of that episode. <laughs> you know, and um, actually, Hillary Clinton wrote me a letter delineating 10 reasons why my plan won't work as science senator from New York. Did you guys have experiences where people would come to you and say, hey, you inspired me to get into politics? I was in D.C. and this guy was obviously a staffer on the Hill. And, and he goes, hey, uh, I just want to tell you, man, that your show, that's the reason I went into politics. I was like, oh, oh, thanks. That really, that really means a lot to me. He says, and, I hate you now. Yeah, no, 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 I'm gonna he, he said, actually, <laughs> I'm exhausted, I'm broke, and I don't think I'm ever going to kiss Mary Louise Parker. <laughs> <laughs> did you get the flowers? Yes, I did. Then did there was like one of the most closely followed storylines, the, followed no, story lines, the relationship so. between Josh and Donna, played by Bradley Whitford and Janelle Maloney. You had the possibly the slowest burn romance in, like, the history. Of the yes. Was there ever a point where you just said, oh, my God, like, let's just do this already? I Dr never wanted it to happen. What, you, dramatically, you, uh, you don't want it to happen. Once that tension was broken, I was afraid I wasn't going to be on the show anymore. That's entirely my fault. If I had it to do <laughs> over, I would have let them have a relationship. Really good writers have proven to me that interesting things can happen uh, after that. The West Wing, DeLay Hill's first major TV role, playing the president's personal yeah, aide, Charlie Young. You want to come help us out? Yes, sir, I do. I think Charlie looked to, to the president and was inspired by him and wanted to step into those shoes, and Martin did the same thing for me. Uh, I don't know if I'm as earnest as, uh, as, as Charlie is, but I You're think... You're not. Think... <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Mr. Justice. And Mr. Bartlett. Mr. President, actually. Joshua Molina joined the West Wing in season four. When I heard that Rob Lowe was considering leaving the show, I basically sent an email to Aaron saying, if that happens, how about somebody who's less handsome, <laughs> less well-known, and willing to work for less money? <laughs> and the group couldn't resist chiming in about who could end up in the White House next. I don't think that among Donald Trump's base of support, there are probably a lot of West Wing viewers. Uh, but the, to the extent that there might be some, I think that they believe that Donald Trump is their Jed Bartlett. And any crisis that comes up, we can take care of it uh, by the end of the hour. He is fantastic television, and a lot of horrible things can be really wonderful television. What are you thinking about? Tomorrow. Do you think about it, bringing the show back? If there was a way to bring it back without harming its legacy, I, I would. I would, would you I, guys? In a minute. Course. You know how they have, yeah, they have Muppet Babies? Down. You could do West Wing Oldsters. <laughs> <laughs> So much fun to hang out.
Very cool. Hallie, thanks. We're back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.